Yeah. Well, a company entering back into a profit and that uh, for the first half, it's been labeled in some quarters as a dramatic turnaround. Of course, uh, having moved from 168 million rand loss back in 2009 to 116 million in 2010, now to just over break even. You've got to be pleased with what's actually come to the fore here. Yeah, we're very happy with the results. Um, our strategy has been to, in the first instance, after the acquisition um, uh, that happened in December, the first objective was to make the company solvent and get the liquidity right, which we achieved in our February results. And then the second objective was to get the group profitable, mm -hmm. which I believe we have uh, we have now delivered on. So of that's very encouraging. Of course, we've seen that capital injection of 463 million rand come through from Maibuye and that through loan and equity funding. So let's talk sustainability here, because once the legacy problems are actually out of the way, uh, will the new strategy be able to support the profit growth going forward? That's ultimately the big question out there. Yes. Uh, I think one of the advantages and disadvantages we have in, in Blue is we operate in multiple countries. Because we're operating in multiple countries, it obviously adds a level of complexity into to running the group because obviously every country is different. However, it also provides us with further opportunities whereby we can focus on which country has, if I may use the word, low-hanging fruit. So we can focus on that and balance our growth um, on the basis that we would like to have it. So where are you identifying those opportunities at this stage of the game? Right now, if I just as an example, we are focusing on East Africa, so we have um, uh, quite an interesting growth strategy uh, planned for East Africa. Okay, uh, I don't know if you uh, t uh, you know uh, caught the tail end of the conversation I was having with Mohammed, but the macroeconomic scenario are really intrinsic to uh, you know the success of a business like Blue, like Capitech, uh, you know because of the exposure to the lower LSM group. You you identify East Africa as a potential opportunity moving forward. What are some of the challenges? Because we know that for one, inflation and uh, persistently high inflation that's been ticking higher has come to bear on the average consumer. That's true, but I think a person needs to keep in mind which country a person is talking about. If you're talking about South Africa, I think growth prospects there is different than it would be in some of the other jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. And we have also significantly in that regard focused our efforts more on some of the other African jurisdictions where we be believe growth opportunities are better than South Africa at present. So right now our focus in South Africa is around about 5% of our lending. Um, that obviously be monitored on an ongoing basis, but yeah, that's currently our focus. In, in the past, you know, problems were mainly uh, caused by the frenetic, uh, the, the frantic uh, expansion we've seen of your loan book, which was not backed by aggressive debt collection and a strategy in that regard. Or what change have you implemented in that regard to mitigate some of that risk moving forward? Well, we, f we have a firm belief in quality over quantity. So we would rather concentrate on putting quality loans on board than necessarily putting quantity on board and trying to manage it on that basis. So if you look at our results to date and with the new credit policy that we've implemented, at an impairment rate of roughly 4% of our assets. I think that is uh, below uh, market norms. Yeah, so uh, some management coming through there. Part of sustainable profitability also comes with ensuring that costs are under control. So let's take a look at uh, some of the strides being made in that regard. Yeah, cost containment is obviously critical. Um, it's pointless uh, growing your, your revenue lines if you're growing your, cross li your cost lines at the same or, or higher rate. Mm -hmm. So I think we've been very successful in reducing our cost. Uh, on a comparative basis, our cost decreased in excess of 30%, which I think if you look at it from a basis where we've increased our revenue lines, increased our, our um, gross, re gross revenue, but we have reduced it, we've done it with reduced cost. I think it's very pleasing. Let's take a look at the size of the organization. Have, uh, you know, all the big cost containments done right now, or are you still looking to right size the organization further? I believe uh, it's an ongoing process to make improvements. So I think we've dealt with the big issues. But um, I don't think improvement, you can ever, ever say it's done. It's, it's a continuous process because as you grow and evolve, it, it's an ongoing process. But certainly we've dealt with the big issues. Do the results that we see today reflect that uh, you might be generating a profit then for the full year period? Um, of course, <laughs> I, I'm not Let's in a position to Let's take a look at the outlook. Let's take a look at the outlook. Yeah, I, I'm not really in a position to make profit forecasts, but I think that the what we have, uh, the interim results we've put on the table, I believe, is sustainable, mm -hmm. and I believe that we have, are moving from a more turnaround focus to a more growth focus, even though there's still turnaround work to be done. So, from that basis, I believe the results are sustainable and can be grown.
competition within this landscape? What are you facing out there? I know that there's a strong contender in Capitec, but like you say, you've only got that 5% exposure to the South African market. Capitec not really playing in the African arena. Uh, on a competitive landscape uh, point of view, what are we looking at? There are different competitors in different markets, and there's some very good, uh, very good companies that's very well managed and, and organized. However, it's our belief that if you have a good product and you provide a good product with good service to your customer, there will always be a market that you can grow in. It's all about innovation and convenience to customers.